Hi everyone. <clears throat> so we have uh, uploaded mostly the, the syllabus of macroeconomics. And this is one more edition, another lesson, wherein we will talk about the J-curve. See, J-curve, as you can see on screen, it basically means that uh, here we are saying that this is our trade balance. Okay. And we say that when our depreciation happens, Depreciation का मतलब है कि अगर अभी हम presently suppose the exchange rate per USD is given to be rupees seventy per dollars. अब हम बोल रहे हैं कि यही चीज depreciate हुई है हमारी currency depreciate हुई है which means that exchange rate per USD is now rupees eighty per dollars. So when this happens, it means that our exports become cheaper. Because now in $1 dollar, there is more demand. People can pay more. Because the price of rupees per USD, as we can see that there is depreciation here. So first effect of depreciation is exports become cheaper. And second effect is that imports become expensive. So when this happens, demand for exports will increase and demand for imports will reduce. And what is trade balance? Trade balance is export minus import तो जब हमारा demand for exports increase होगा मतलब हमारी export earnings increase होएंगी will increase and जब हमारा demand for imports reduce होएगा इसका मतलब हमारे import payments reduce होएंगे Reduce. So this means that export earnings are increasing, import payments are reducing. Thus, there will be an increase in the trade balance. Itta hume samaj me aagya. Thik hai ki depreciation ka kya effect hota hai. But ye jo effect hai depreciation ka, ye immediately dekhne ko nahi mil. It takes some time and uske baad hamara trade balance improve hona start hota hai. इसी पैटर्न को बोला जाता है, as we can see on the diagram, J curve. Okay, इसी को बोला जाता है, J curve. So here we take time period, and here we take net exports. These net exports can be positive and they can be negative also. So we say that there were two economists, that is, Lodstein and Kahn, and they measured the response of trade flows to the changes in the real exchange rate. So we are saying that suppose this is time period one. हमने यहाँ पे real devaluation किया या real devaluation हुआ, depreciation हुआ या जब भी हम fixed exchange rate के बारे में बात करते हैं तो हम बोलते हैं devaluation किया या revaluation किया और जब flexible exchange rate के बारे में बात करते हैं तो बोलते हैं depreciation हुआ क्योंकि वो market में होता है या appreciation हुआ. Because this theory came in the period of fixed exchange rate, इसलिए हमने यहाँ पे word devaluation use किया. So, uh, the real devaluation that takes place at time period T1. But you can see that the trade balance starts increasing towards T4, that is time period 4. Then, trade balance deteriorates for two quarters. As you can see here, ki hamara, ye deteriorate hua, yaha pe bhi deteriorate hua. So, two quarters tak deteriorate hua, uske baad ja ke hamara trade balance improve hona start karta hai. Now, this is as per the empirical study that these two economists have conducted. It is not necessary that in one time period, this is what is that in two quarters, it is not applicable for the country. Or in one country, it is not applicable for the time period. Because it depends upon the economic scenarios. So, we say that J curve effect arises due to the adjustment lags. Now, what are these adjustment lags? Why is our devaluation like in the time period 1? So, in time period 2, why is our trade balance not improved? 
so there are certain adjustment lines first we talk about some currency contracts signed prior to the devaluation ki jo contracts humne pehle sign kiye hain aap dekho uske basis pe agar depreciation hoega to actually hum logo ka trade balance aur zyada decline karega aur zyada deficit mein jayega second reason for this j curve or we can say for the delayed improvement in the trade balance is pass through pass through occurs when a change in the exchange rate results in a change in the domestic prices of the imported goods because naturally aapka jab exchange rate change hota hai then there are certain changes in the domestic prices of import goods jisko adjust karne mein time lag jata hai and third type is so just explaining what is uh, the pass through so when the domestic currency depreciates which means that which means that e i n r per usd increases so when it depreciates a pass through effect occurs and because of this effect there are higher domestic prices of imported goods and thus the trade balance worsens why does it happen because hamara एक शूट शॉर्ट टाइम पीरियड में सप्लाई बॉटल नेक्स होते हैं सप्लाई बॉटल नेक का मतलब है हम सप्लाई साइड को इमीडिएटली चेंज नहीं कर सकते हैं देयर इज इन इलास्टिसिटी सप्लाई ऑफ एक्सपोर्ट्स इज इन इलास्टिक इन दी शॉर्ट रन क्योंकि हमारा जैसा हमने डिस्कस किया एक्सपोर्ट्स चीपर हो गए और डिमांड फॉर एक्सपोर्ट्स भी इंक्रीज हो गया बट एकदम से हम उन एक्सपोर्ट्स की प्रोडक्शन को इंक्रीज नहीं कर सकते हैं एंड डिमांड फॉर इम्पोर्ट्स इज ऑल्सो इन इलास्टिक इन दी शॉर्ट रन because it takes time for people to substitute one good for the other abhi hamari currency suppose depreciate hui hai imports hamare liye expensive ho gaye hain but hame kuch time chahiye ga ki hum jo imported goods jo imports hum import kar rahe hain unke cheaper substitutes find kare so us time jab tak hum ye nahi karte hain jab tak hamara actually import payments increase karega aur export payments earnings reduce karega and thus trade balance worsen hota hai so this is termed as this this is the second reason third is quantity adjustment period so we say that as the volume effect that is as the volume effect becomes greater than price effect but when does this happen volume effect ka matlab hai ki jo demand hai jo quantity hai वो ज्यादा हो रही है आपकी एज कम्पेयर टू दी चेंजेस इन दी प्राइसेस मतलब हम ज्यादा डिमांड कर रहे हैं हमारे एक्सपोर्ट्स की ज्यादा डिमांड हो रही है हम इम्पोर्ट्स को बहुत ज्यादा रिड्यूस कर रहे हैं तो ये जो वॉल्यूम इफेक्ट है व्हेन इट बिकम्स ग्रेटर देन प्राइस इफेक्ट दिस विल हैपन ओनली इन दी लॉन्ग रन देन वी से दैट ट्रेड बैलेंस इम्प्रूव एंड यही लॉन्ग रन है जो हम ये बोल रहे हैं कि टूवर्ड्स टी हमारा ट्रेड बैलेंस इम्प्रूव करता है that is why we say that with when the when there is devaluation under fixed exchange rate or depreciation under flexible exchange rate then the trade balance will improve but the improvement in the trade balance will take time because there are adjustment lags and this is how this shape j curve this shape of improvement of trade balance is termed as j curve which shows that how the trade balance changes with the changes in the real exchange rate so with this your j curve part is complete i'll try to upload more videos but anyways you have your exam tomorrow all the best for your exam everyone or my wishes to you please take care bye bye study well prepare well just one more day